I created the Fogburner cocktail as an homage to the city I live in, San Francisco, where an average day consists of a morning fog that is burnt away by a California sun. So first we need to make an ice ball shell. To do that you're going to need an ice ball mold like this one, a seasoning injector of some kind to extract the liquid from the middle, and you're going to need to heat that up to puncture the shell, so get a lighter. So to create the smoke, it is much easier to have one of these electric smoking guns. You'll see why later. And we're going to be serving this up on a little black bowl on top of a metal jigger and drinking out the cocktail using a tiny straw. To cover the cocktail with the smoke, you're going to want a stemless wine glass. I'll provide a link to all this equipment in the description. The cocktail is going to be a mezcal negroni, so you'll need some mezcal, some campari, and sweet vermouth. First, you're gonna fill up that ice ball mold and freeze it only for about three hours or so. That's gonna allow a shell of ice to form around the outside. Then you're gonna heat up that seasoning injector and insert it directly into the top. Once you manage to puncture that shell of ice, you're then going to extract all the water out. You're gonna wanna try to do this quickly. The less time holding that terrifying syringe looking device, the better. You'll then probably need to pull the ice ball out of the mold and just dump a little bit of excess water. And then you'll be left with this really sexy looking ice ball shell. Drop it back in the mold and just store it in the freezer. Okay, cocktail time. So start with one ounce of your Campari. Mix in one ounce of your sweet vermouth. And then finally, one ounce of your mezcal to give it that smoky flavor. So you're going to want to stir this vigorously for about 45 seconds to bring the temperature of the cocktail down to about 0 degrees Celsius. This will ensure that the ice ball shell stays intact longer when you pour in the cocktail. Alright, let's plate this thing. So get your ice ball shell and you're going to want to place it right on top of that metal jigger. It's actually much better if you've kept that metal jigger in the freezer so it doesn't melt the ice ball. And here's where you're gonna get a little bit surgical. So you're gonna take that seasoning injector, extract the cocktail, and then inject it very carefully into that ice ball shell, like some kind of game of operation. Fill it all the way to the top, so you get this beautiful red orb of deliciousness. Now it's time to load up the smoking gun. The smoking gun basically allows you to ignite small wood chips like this and control the direction of that smoke by blowing it through that rubber tube. I highly recommend one if you're doing a lot of smoking. Alright, here's the tricky part. After you turn on your smoking gun, you're going to want to ignite the wood chips and angle the smoke directly into the top of that glass. Once it's ignited and going, grab that glass, invert it, and carefully place it over your ice ball with a cocktail. Try not to knock it off the jigger. Also best not to do this right in front of your guest as you're gonna get smoke everywhere. And here's the moment of glory. Bring the bowl in front of the guest and slowly lift up the glass to reveal the cocktail. You'll notice a nice cool vacuum effect of the smoke wafting in and out of the glass. The applewood smoke here is gonna provide a nice aroma that will complement the mezcal smokiness of the cocktail really well. Then discard the glass and insert the straw into the hole at the top and serve. The ice shell should hold throughout the length of the cocktail, but if not, the bowl is always there to catch it. And that's how you make the smoky fog burner cocktail. Give it a shot and let me know how it goes. Cheers. To get this recipe, links to all the equipment I used, and early access to videos, visit CocktailChemistryLab.com.